welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkian Wiersma, and also known as EJ. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today I'm going to do a Blooms, Buds and Such. It's been a while since I did uh, some uh, type of uh, this, this type of video. Um, but yeah, I think I need to do it because there are some uh, changing, changes uh, that are going to be happening soon here in the greenhouse. So I thought I'm going to take the opportunity to give you a little bit of an update what to expect upcoming weeks. Um, so yeah, let's. I, I'm just going to dive in. Uh, in December last year, I did a, a search uh, for a contractor that could do the floors because the floors in the greenhouse are not well and they need to be changed and need to be better. I will uh, show it to you guys in a minute what I'm talking about. But uh, me and my husband had a uh, quite a dis no, not discussion. We had a talk about it, and we said, "Well, it needs to uh, the floors needs to do uh, better. We need new floors. Uh, even if I somehow in some years I would stop growing orchids here, this would be a beautiful sun room. So therefore, it's nice, and I think it's it's a good investment. Um, but yeah, it's not something uh, you do quite um, quite quick. Obviously, you." You think about it because it's uh, it's quite an investment, but yeah, we're going to do it, and uh, that means that I need to clear out the greenhouse. So that is going to be a big challenge. But uh, luckily, uh, the contractor was here about two days ago, and we and I showed the place, and uh, we did discuss things, and he said that uh, the plants on the wall sort of fails that are hanging in the plants behind me can stay there. They really need to be able to reach the floors. So if there's something on the sides hanging, it's, it doesn't bother them. So that saves me quite a lot of work. And I'm really happy about it because we have some fells, and I will show that in a minute as well, that have these beautiful area roots attached to the bricks and to the door. And I really wasn't looking forward to uh, take them off and breaking all those beautiful roots. So they can stay. They will have it a little bit colder because probably the door in the greenhouse will be open. And it's winter here, so it's fairly cold. But I think it's doable. So, so they will cool down. Maybe we will have some butt blast and maybe some spikes. Not developing as they uh, would uh, in warmer temperatures, but so be it. Uh, luckily, I don't have to move them and that's, that's the best I can do. And I really need to change this floor because uh, it's leaking air, it's bringing cold air in because of the gaps. And we will have a look at it, uh, like I said, in a minute. But anyhow, so that can stay. But that means that all the shelving needs to go. And I need to, uh, need to be go uh, in, in, inside the orchid room, perhaps inside our living room. Uh, the lamps need to go and yeah, it needs to be cleared out, basically. So that's, that's a job that is uh, waiting for me. So uh, next weekend I will start doing the job and I will try to film as much as I can because I think it's going to be fun. But I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, but on the other hand, I do a little bit because afterwards it should be great. We will uh, get this concrete uh, floor. And at first I thought it needed several weeks to dry out. But that's uh, with the old, uh, old floors. Nowadays they call it chem floor, C-E-M. And I really have no idea what it stands for, and it doesn't matter. But this floor will be um, dry enough within uh, 24 hours. So it needs one day to dry, and then you uh, should be able to uh, walk on it, and uh, the shelving can be uh, also put back. And actually, he said, well, with the heat you have going on most of the times here in the, in the uh, greenhouse, you probably can, can walk the same day on it in the evening. But I will... Uh, I will uh, uh, Play it safe, and I will not walk on uh, on it for 24 hours, just uh, to be sure, of course. Uh, and then I can ever put everything back, and I can then water everything again, so it should be fine. But yeah, like I said, it will be quite quite a job. So that's coming up. So I don't know what uh, video will be next, and the one after that, we shall see. I will try uh, at least to film something and upload it every Sunday. So that's said and done. That's quite some, uh, some announcement, I think. I also want to thank you all for subscribing, giving me the support on this channel. And recently I had quite some new subscribers as well. Thank you so much. I really hope you're going to enjoy it here. 
Uh, I also saw that my how I transfer my orchids into shell watering. That video is doing very well. It's suddenly picking up. It's in my top 10 now of best uh, best videos that I ever made. So that's that's great. Um, funny enough, I'm working on a new video on the same subject, but I'm I'm uh, basically narrowing it down to six easy steps to take and to uh, to be quite successful in, in letting your orchids adapt to a new system. In my case, a semi-hydroponic system, I should say. Uh, so funny enough, that will be up. But I, I'd like to narrow it down and make the video a little bit shorter because it's an older one. Um, I think my English wasn't as good as it is now. It's, it's, it can be obviously better than now, but I'm trying. Uh, I think I'm, uh, it's all a little bit quicker. So I'm taking a little bit of more time in that video. Anyhow, it's doing well, so thank you so much. I'm really happy that it uh, uh, apparently helps you, uh, you out or you are curious. Maybe you get some ideas of the, those types of videos. But I thought uh, I'm going to mention it uh, soon somewhere. Upcoming weeks, I will have a new video on that subject. So that was quite a lot of information. I think it's now time to do an update on the floor and the area roots, like I promised. And I have some new bloomers for the first time and they are amazing. So we will have a look at those. And it just I came home from my groceries and I bought a new orchid. Uh, I, I saw it there. It's very beautiful. So I'm going to show it to you guys as well. It's just been here for now, probably 20, 30 minutes. I'm just uh, getting home and I thought I, I'm going to make this video. So it's, it's absolutely uh, fresh to my collection. <laughs> So uh, here we go, I'm going to grab up the camera and uh, we will uh, take it from there. So yeah, so let's start with some first time bloomers. And here it is, it's a little bit uh, awkward, but it's because it's upside down basically. Well, it's facing downwards, I should say, not upside down. This is my Engracum, the only one that I have, the Engracum Bosserii. And it opened up its blooms, but yeah, I, I will try, maybe I need to... Uh, get up my camera like this let's have a look can we see them there we go so you have a bit of an idea but this is the first time it blooms beautiful and you see I still have some trips so I need to uh, spray this one I recently did a video on trips I will link it in here so I'm not afraid of them anymore but I need to uh, spray them and this one uh, has beautiful uh, tasty blooms apparently but anyhow my uh, angry combustory so yeah, this is, uh, like I said, it's facing um, upside down. I apologize. I'm not going to make you dizzy. But nonetheless, it's beautiful. That's the first one. Then over here, uh, this is also a first-time bloomer. This is my Lelia Enceps Alba. And if you follow the spike, it goes here. Here's the plant. So that's the original, uh, the plant itself. But here are the blooms, the beautiful blooms. Also a first time bloomer. And then behind it, we have this long spike. Maybe you remember it, it's from last year. And here we go. It's absolutely crazy. But look at this. She's just about to open it up. Santa Barbara Sunset. Santa Barbara Sunset Showtime, I believe, is the actual name. And she has four blooms to, well actually two buds in the two blooms opening up so it will be a total of four blooms but like i said just about to open up absolutely beautiful i shouldn't have touched it <laughs> so here we go so yeah there are those then over here i will have this one in bloom this is from my uh, my gift from my 1k subscribers looking good the fires very big one and then i remembered i had actually that one already the small one but look she's also making a flower spike she's way smaller <laughs> as you can compare but they're both uh, both of them are alba versions so fires alba tinkerfield alba i apologize it was a little bit more to the name tinkerfield alba those are to come then it's just open up look at that absolutely stunning this is Sinota super swan beautiful fragrance 
and then this one over here. And while we edit here, here are the area rules I was talking about. So yeah, I'm so happy I don't have to take those off. And I have even more here on the door. Uh, some are trying to get in <laughs> the awkward room, but you can see there in the back all the area rules. So those can stay. I don't have to take them off behind there. And here a lot. Look at that. I think it looks beautiful. So therefore I'm really, really happy that I can stay. Let's have a quick look inside of the orchid room. There is my new orchid. It's over here, catching a little bit of sun. This is the new one. Yeah, turn this around a little bit. Yeah, it's set on the tag Miltonia, but it's a Miltonia crush. But I really, really like it. It's beautiful. If you recognize it, if you think you have a name, please let me know. But yeah, it's beautiful. And yeah, it looks like I expect as always. There are some roots could do better, some damaging here, some shriveling going on. So maybe I leave it or maybe I take it off. It just uh, depends. And then I really am focusing on the new growths and then I can uh, repot this one. But yeah, it's beautiful. I think so that is this one so yeah it's very very new in my uh, collection I'm just having a look that I missed something yes we didn't have a look at this one this is from my Equigenra Purgage my Equigenra haul uh, a few weeks back if I don't if I don't forget I will put a link in but this is it's, it's beautiful I think if you ask me it has a nice fragrance as well this is the name for it. Look at that. Let me turn that leaf there. <laughs> yeah, I think it's quite, quite beautiful. So yes, you guys, I have work to do. Um, some, somehow I need to try to uh, get all those plants from uh, the greenhouse also somewhere here. So yeah, that's going to be a challenge. But I will uh, figure it out. I have no idea exactly how I'm going to do it, but I will find a way. The downside, you guys, is that um, I, I, I have these little clumps of aphids, mealybugs here and there because I have so many plants. Well, yeah, if you put them all together in a very narrow place, I might have some pest outbreaks afterwards, but we shall see. It is what it is. We have to do it for the better. I didn't uh, show the greenhouse floor. I, uh, I now remember. <laughs> Just a yellow twinkle update. Let's do that. I'm a bit over the place. I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind it too much. There's so much to talk about. Well, first of all, I will have no more room for the weeds with concrete. You see here it's leaking water. If you have a lot of rain, which we have last couple of months, it's crazy. So that should be getting better. You can see here there's a semblance of the water as well. And here I have this mat, but here we go. Let, let me quickly show you to you guys. You see, there are the holes. And I have more, I'm getting more and more and more. We have more here and over here, here and there. So yeah, and a lot of water. So yeah, I, this, is, this is going to be so much better, I know. But yeah, we have to go uh, through a lot. And if you see, saw this bucket, yeah, that's because I'm also starting to clean up a little bit. <laughs> but I will uh, have a chance to really clean it up if I have all the plants uh, inside of the orchid room. Because we have some mold, I think, is going on there. So it's it's all for the best, but it's quite a, quite a job. So that is something that I really want you guys to know. Because I, uh, like I said, I'm not completely sure what I will upload next week. Um, I have a lot of ideas. But uh, and they will come, we shall see. But I try to at least uh, upload a video, some progress, I think, on what it uh, is going on, etc. So, anyhow, you guys, I uh, I think this is the update for now. No, not yet. I always forget this update, it's quite nice actually. Let me turn off the fan. This is maybe you recognize it if Insta watches this video. This is a uh, Maxillaria, Maxillaria, no idea, Insa 
a gift and it's finally making uh, new bulbs i believe you call them as well and it's starting to look better but this one has a had a rough time i couldn't it didn't really want to make roots but here you can see a few of them and the, these new bulbs are really getting some size to them again so yeah finally it's doing better i'm really looking forward to it he had this one uh, never in bloom, so we are hoping uh, it will bloom here. And maybe we can find the uh, positive idea for this, the name. But nonetheless, I'm so happy. I, I, there, were, there was a time where I thought I'm going to lose it. But yeah, it, looking, uh, it, looks, it looks quite pretty and, and fresh green again. So, uh, and the one next to it, also a gift from Insta, is making buds. This is the Variables, yellow. You can see it there in the back. So yeah, that is doing well. And next to is this one. We have my first one. It's also a yellow one. I did saw some spikes here and there starting. I think we can see one here. There, I believe that's going to be a spike. Not completely sure, but should be fine. And I love the moss on this. <laughs> so yeah, that was an update I wanted to do as well. So that is quite a lot of information, of, isn't it, you guys? <laughs> but anyhow, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to having this new floor here. It's going to be so much better. As usual, you guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you uh, enjoyed this update. Uh, I did. It's always nice to uh, let you guys know what is going on. And for now, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I really, really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.